just keep in mind one thing in SQL all tables are treated as tables treated as multi sets okay so in the result you are bound to get duplicate values okay so let's suppose if you have a table venue where we have venue name we have venue city we have venue state okay and if I do I do a select venue name from venue then I would get results as this say XYZ ABC PQR again XYZ LMN maybe ABC again okay so I would get results something like this so to eliminate duplicate values let's see why do we have duplicate values the simple reason is duplicate elimination is a costly affair duplicate elimination is costly so we don't do it in SQL SQL doesn't do it for you only if you say then it's going to do it so if I need to have list of all the venues but no duplicated entries I would use the keyword this thing I would say select distinct venue name okay when I say select distinct venue name from venue then I would get results as XYZ ABC PQR and LMN these are the results that I am going to get in this case so if you have to eliminate duplicates then you got to use distinct ok next we will just take a quick look at the set operators ok the set operators we have union we have intersection and we have set difference ok so the union is in SQL it is the union operator the intersection is the intersect operator and the set difference is except operator ok you just keep in mind SQL is not case sensitive so if you write from as this or if you write from as this it means the same ok you can have union in all caps you can have in it in small caps it is the same so we will just take a very simple query to explain the usage of union say I want to find out all the persons who are both project managers and engineers so I would say select name from uh, let's suppose my engineers table is engineers ok and I would say select name from say my project managers table is project managers and I would do a union this complete thing is my one query ok 
in place of union i could have if i wanted only those engineers which are not project managers then i could have taken this as except right oops this should be intersect right if i want persons who are both engineers and project managers then i would do an intersection intersect and if i have to find all the persons who are either project managers or engineers i would take a union now let's quickly see generalized projection okay sql allows the use of math operators in the select clause okay so which basically means it allows generalized projection so let's take the same example we have a player goals table it has the player name it has the name of the team against which he has scored a goal it has the name of the venue where he has scored a goal and it has the number of goals that he has scored at a particular venue against a particular team so let's suppose every player gets 10000 for every goal that he scored so i need to find out how much a player has earned in every main match that he has played so i would say select name comma team against comma venue comma goals into 10000 as money on okay from player goals as simple as that so we would have the results which are like main team against venue and money earned right so if i say jimmy played let's say jimmy played a match against abc at pqr and in that match he had scored 3 goals so in the result i would have 30000 here right and i would have other values because it is 3 into 10000 okay so that was the generalized projection the next thing okay let's take another look at this let's suppose i need to order these values okay with respect to player names okay first i should be having values like first all jimmy's matches would come then all say chris's matches would come in alphabetical order i need to have the above table okay then we have say low and then stuff like this so i can say the same query i would add a new keyword here which is order by name okay so this is going to order my results with respect to the alphabetical order of name by default the order is ascending which means a would come first b would come second c would come second third now 
suppose i want to have the order in reverse so let's suppose i need to have low as the first entry then chris and then jimmy then i would say order by name descending okay let me just copy this so that i can explain you one more concept oops okay from what do we have from player goals right now suppose i need to get my results like this i should have jimmy and within jimmy i should be having an order in the team against field so first abc should come then pqr should come then lmn should come okay so i need a order in this attribute as well so i would say order by name comma team against okay okay and also just realize here jimmy could have played more than one match against abc and he could have scored in first match probably he could have scored two in another match he could have scored three okay so i need the order on let's suppose money earned as well okay so it would be 20000 and 30000 so how do i do that i would say and let's suppose i want to have this order as descending so first i want the 30000 row and then i want the 20000 row so i would say order by name comma team against comma money earned descending okay so i would get my result as we would have jimmy we would have abc we would have 30000 then we would again have jimmy we would have abc 20000 then we would have jimmy PQR and let's suppose we have two values here forty thousand. Again one more Jimmy PQR ten thousand and next we will probably have Chris right and in ABC let's suppose he scored twenty thousand. So this is going to be my result first. order with respect to name second order with respect to team against and the final order with respect to the money earned right let me just put this in a table okay so that was my order by clause and i would conclude this session by a final elaboration on on string comparison okay i would tell you how do you compare strings in sql we use the keyword like to compare strings okay 
how do we use it there are two characters that we use for pattern matching okay pattern pattern is let's suppose i need to find all the people whose names start with r and ends with let's suppose sun okay so there can be any number of characters in between so i basically want to find strings like robinson rosen i don't know if there is anything like rosen or say wilson or say rackinson okay all these strings i have to match so i was let's suppose my query is find all people with name like this okay or let's suppose it is find all employees with name like this so i would use something like this select name comma email from employees where name okay the string comparison operator is like so i would say where name like now this is where i would write a percent sign okay a percent sign matches percent matches zero or more characters okay so we can even have a value like arson in that case we have zero characters between r and sun okay this is the special character that i am using to find all people whose names start with r and end with sun okay we also have another character which is the underscore underscore matches exactly one it matches exactly one character okay so let's suppose i want to find out people whose name starts with or rather whose second character is p let's suppose okay let us do something else we will chimmy chill jin and do we have another name that has second character as i at least i can't think of right now okay so let's suppose i just want to find all the people who have an i in the second character of their names so i would use something like this i would say select name comma email from employees where name like is my comparison operator name like 
second character okay so we have a fixed one character in the first place then we have a second character as i and we have here we have one character here we have two characters here we have three characters so i would say a person okay so this is my string comparison pattern this would match all these strings okay it would also match ji if a person has a name ji g then it would also match this why because percentage is zero or more so if i don't want this to happen i would say like underscore i a character and percentage this would mean there is a first character there is a second character there is some third character and then we have zero or more characters right so this won't come because we have a fixed third character specified by this point here okay right so ji won't be matched in this case so okay how do you match characters which actually have say percentage in their names percentage you won't probably have let's suppose how do you match underscore in the name right you can have underscore in a company name isn't it so for that we use an escape character this is an escape character to match underscore precede the underscore with an escape character okay to match a percent sign precede the percent sign with a underscore okay and to match the escape character itself precede the escape character with the escape character okay so find all company names all companies which have underscore in their name so i would do this select name from company where name like is my comparison operator and it can be any number of characters so i would put a percent here and i would say my underscore and i would put a percentage after this so it would be zero or more characters in this place then a percent sign and zero or more characters in this place right it's not a percent sign it is a underscore sign we are trying to find so this would match my query all the company names which have an underscore in their names